Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we got nursed back to health by uh, Morgan and her mother because uh, we were betrayed. We were betrayed by Taryn Logan. Logan, I think. <laughs> Taryn Logan, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. Rhymes with Rogaine, as far as I'm aware. Um, and, uh, the king and presumably Duncan were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. We were ambushed up in the tower afterwards, and apparently her mother came to save us, and in how Morgan tells it, she became a giant bird and swooped up to the tower, grabbed us, and then flew away. And the Darkspawn are currently at the battlefield, feeding on the dead bodies. It's a, uh, not a great sight from the sound of it. So, there's that. And, uh, now we have more vengeance to deal out. Not just against uh, those who tried to destroy my family, but also those who, uh, fucked over the king and the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Yay. So good. All right. So, Morgan, we've already talked to. We're going to head out to talk to her mother, as was requested of us, apparently. Hey, Alistair. You're probably See, taking this really hard. Here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. I thought you were dead for sure. Did I look that bad? <laughs> Afraid you were going to be left alone. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Yeah, Do not talk true. about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... I what recognize that voice. You've, ne you've never told us your name? True. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? True. True it has. I very much recognize that voice. And I also know that she was a certain captain on a certain starship. My favorite. Fight me, Plague. <laughs> okay. You too, Peach. I'll fight you too. I know you too. <laughs> Give me shit for it, but fuck it. All right. So, you must be very old and powerful. That'd be a little rude to say. Uh, but let's say it. Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why did Fair you enough. save Duncan? He is... was our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later. In the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It changed when most of them were slaughtered. If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were okay. fighting the Dark Spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes True. the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is this Archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not. History says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. 
Fair enough. I mean, what could the Terran hope to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, oh. I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Arl Eamon, the Arl of Redcliffe. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. I mean, keep in mind that Loghain was also an honorable man. <laughs> but, I mean... Everyone will see the danger the Blight poses, right? You could wait for the Archdemon to make its appearance. I imagine that might be convincing. It's been centuries since the last Blight. Nobody will take it seriously until it's too late. We need the rest of the Grey Wardens. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They are obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? You're right. Go to Redcliffe and these other places and You're very build an right. army. As long as there's some profit in it. Wow, that's some that's some fucked up thing to say. I mean, it, I doubt it will be that as easy as that. I doubt it. <laughs> and when is it ever? True. It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I mean, I don't suppose you could offer any more help. Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. Do you? The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I mean, she still does kind of have them ears now. But also, uh, apparently she was very much not expecting. That's such a shame. What? <laughs> I'm gonna do what now? Uh, I mean, what? I mean, if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wild and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Was this your idea all along? Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Hmm. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Fair point. point. Taken. Yeah, fair Mother. point. Mother. This is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And it doesn't you, sound like she really wants to. I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. She won't come to harm with us. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Yeah, go ahead. It's kind of sprung up on everyone. And I'll go! I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, Sounds if good. you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Silent? 
doesn't sound like something I want. You sound to be an interesting person. Uh, I mean, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, are you really her daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? I'm just wondering her age. <laughs> okay, because you look pretty young and she not so much. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's just difficult to imagine her. <laughs> not, not, not really saying it, I guess. Okay. She's just going to stay here alone. Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. Fair enough. Fair enough. Give me just a second. I have to adjust a thing real quick. Just a little tiny thing. Sorry, I had to turn up the heat a little bit. It's actually kind of cold in my room right now. Okay. Um, I mean... What should I ask you? What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. Okay. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Okay. Can you cook? I can Wow. Cook? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Never mind him. You don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Child Rabbit from here on out. <laughs> Fucking gods damn it. I'm fine with Charred Rabbit as long as you eventually learn not to char it. You shithead. Alright, um... How are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. That's not reassuring. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Okay. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Okay. Um, have you never been outside the wilds? From time to wilds? time. Wilds? I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its mm. people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, oh. I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Okay. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Fair enough. Okay. That's understandable. Uh, is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. Mm -hmm. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. All right. Fair enough. You just didn't expect it to be so sudden. That I can that I can get. That I can understand. Been through that more than once myself. Uh, tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence. Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I think I recognize I would that more name. often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes oh. the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. I chantry. see. And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Apparently not. They, have. they even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I see. Is there any reason to go to it then? What the? Beyond that. Why did the audio fuck up there? Why did the audio fuck up on that line? What the fuck? What the fuck? Y'all heard that too, right? 
It's like she did that from the other side of the recording booth. What the fuck? Um. Okay. All right. That's, uh, that wasn't even like other side of the recording booth. That, that that was more of booth. Booth. If anything, it sounded like she did that in an auditorium with the microphone at the other end of it. Sheesh. All right. Okay. Well, I have no more questions. Farewell. Other mother. than what the fuck happened with that Don't line. forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. <laughs> It is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. <laughs> she, was, she was just trying to be a little on the, uh... She was trying to be a little on the, uh... <laughs> oh! Morgan and Alistair approves of me! Hmm. All right. Flemeth, I guess I can continue to talk to her. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Um, kind of. <laughs> uh, you, uh, could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> a, a, a little, but I, I need to know things so that way I can get to the action with a clearer head. Uh, can I ask about your magic? What good would it do you? You are no mage. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Like a worn dress, or an old pair of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot give them away, apparently. <laughs> wow, come on, guys. Come on. This is an interesting family dynamic. <laughs> Uh shit, it reminds me of back home with the parents. Uh, how long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. Oh, you may think it's strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Fair yes, enough. Men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. Are you sure they just didn't die from her? Wow, that must have been a long time ago. Uh, you will need that smart mouth for more than asking me silly questions. Well, I mean, do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? Uh, about anything, really. Then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Mm -hmm. Remember, it is up to you to destroy the blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. What will you do once we're gone? Oh, have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. Wow! This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy shit. Girls, girls, retract the claws, please. Holy fuck. <laughs> I thought my family was bad. Jesus. Okay. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Fuck. Alright. Have fun with your dinner. I will uh, sit here and wonder what the fuck is going on. Oh, we go to the world map from here. Really? Gather the party and venture forth. Oh, it opens up into a whole thing. Okay, we're supposed to go to Lothring. We have a whole number of things we can go to. Um... Eventually, I guess. Party camp. More info. The current party campsite. Um, currently in Flemeth's hut. Ostagar. 
Ruined Fortress. Ostagaros once stood since it... Yep, okay. Savage Wetlands of the South. This wilderness is a source of the dark spawn blight. The Edge of the Brazilian Forest. The dangers of which are well recorded in local legends. Hmm. So this is how we're going to travel along. Okay. A little more, little more plain than I expected, but I, I guess this works. Soldiers Pass, huh? Although the route is more treacherous than Gerland's Pass to the north, Soldiers Pass can shave more than two days' travel off the journey to Orlais. Okay. Orlais, rather. Is that how it's pronounced? Orlais? I don't know. Uh, Lothering. Let's go to Lothering, like we were told to do. Why is it a blood trail? That's weird. I'm not gonna lie. Denerim. Oh, we're this and fuck I expect is... each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat like this you. dark spawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. He is picked up on the fact that this all seems a little ridiculous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne. Yes, you did. And neither will any of you. They will the if they... The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand Sounds this. good. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Well, sounds like the Banorn. Please, Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here, Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? No, he didn't. No, he really didn't. He really did not. I like this guy. I think he's going to be an ally in the future. Well, hi there. Up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Okay. Uh... They don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Uh huh. Highwaymen preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. Yep. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Well, I mean, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. Uh huh. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. Did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, uh -huh. right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Uh-huh. Forget it, I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Uh-huh. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Uh-huh. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. What? Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are... What? But are them Grey Wardens what? good? What? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. Uh, Not enough, I'm afraid. 
And just when we had things settled. Well, there we go. This is a lovely uh, introduction to Lothering, I guess. Yay. Uh, all right, yes. we surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Uh huh. You're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Uh huh. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. You'll follow my lead. I could use some soldiers. What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. Or you can die, your choice. I'm not going down without a fight. Well, I guess... <laughs> I guess that didn't go the way I had hoped. Uh, I guess I just gotta take them all out then. I gave him a chance. I gave him a chance. What can I say? Oh, I took a lot of damage. Well, so did they. <laughs> so did they. Alright. Dead Templar. Oh. Sir Henrik. Oh. This golden locket bears within it a tiny painting of a pretty brown-haired young woman. It is impossible to tell who the woman might be, but whoever owned the locket was quite fond of her. Well, that sucks. Thank you for the injury kit. Lesser elixir of grounding. Hmm. Well, um... That took a turn. <laughs> that entire thing took a turn. Um, what whoops. do you wish of me? I uh, didn't intend to do that. That's what I was. Trap trigger and studded leather boots. Another trap trigger and more stuff. Cool. Apparently, according to that little interaction. Apparently, Loghain has been painting Grey Wardens as the ones who killed the king. That must be part of the story that he told to try and regain order and make it seem like he didn't really just abandon the king like he actually fucking did. So... That seems like it would be the only option he could have to try and paint himself as the one who escaped from the craziness. That the Grey Wardens killed the king during the middle of the fighting and then subsequently got slaughtered by the Darkspawn, I guess? I'm, I'm not sure how he played that angle. That angle would have to be very carefully crafted before he could make it, you know, passable the general populace. But clearly not that one, uh, Tern, uh, we were talking to earlier. Or rather, Ban? I don't... The Banorn? I don't fucking understand how that works. But I know that this is right fucked. Apparently now we're getting instigate, we're getting implicated rather, uh, for the death of the king. For something that Loghain did. Joy, we can't even, can't even bring out that we're Grey Wardens. Apparently. Well, there it is, Lothering, pretty as a painting. Yep. Ah. And we're so painted you have in blood. Finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. <laughs> Whoa! Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, Alistair? 
his navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Fair enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Okay. Anyway, All I right. We should talk about where we intend to go first. Uh. I mean, we need to hear some news before we can decide. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? True. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Uh, not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. Mm -hmm. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Fair enough. Is there a way to contact the rest of the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Eldin to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Fair enough. Uh, what do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. And it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion, and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I'm, I'm starting to notice a dynamic between these two. And they're going to fuck at some point in this fucking series, aren't they? I have a feeling. <laughs> so, she's telling me just go directly to do the thing. He's telling me... That there is a lot of things that'll be in my way. Joy. I love those sort of decisions. <sighs> okay. Uh, then we need to find these people. I can give you directions if you like. Sounds good. Uh, where do we find the Dalish shelves? If we head eastward towards the Brazilian forest, mm -hmm. we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully they will still be there. Sounds good. Uh, where do we find the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, the Circle of Magi. That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. So you don't know who the first enchanter is, but I do know where in the ranking that sits. Okay. Um... Where would Loghain be, exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. Mm -hmm. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, especially since we just got told by the bandits that, oh, we're, go we're the ones who killed the king. Uh, where do we find Arl Eamon? He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. Mm hmm if he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Sounds good. Okay, I don't need then any you more. Have a plan. Vaguely. Why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. All right. Now I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, of course, Morgan avoids most of the blood on her because she's a maid. She doesn't get up close into the fighting. We do. Piff. That adorable big doofus doggo. Just look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. We're a little bit over time, and I need to get my other pot of coffee. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to muddle through the shenanigans that have happened since uh, we got betrayed by Loghain. And uh, right now we're in Lothring, trying to slowly but surely figure out a uh, plan of attack to go after. I'm thinking we'll probably go after the treaties. We'll 
talk to the Arl first, then the treaties, then go after Loghain. It's best to do all of that with uh, an army behind you. And from the sound of it, we'll have quite one sitting there waiting for us. For you. <laughs>